It is 69 degrees today. Feels pretty good. We just got access to our roof after living here for like two months. And it's pretty epic up here. I haven't really spent much time out here really, but it's really neat. This town that I'm in has a castle. There's mountains surrounding me. I feel like I'm still in Wales, but someone turned the temperature up. Obviously all the buildings are a lot taller here. Where I was in Wales, we didn't have anything above like five stories. No one built any higher than that. There's no need to. Wales is very underpopulated. So coming here, just such a contrast. Like I had one neighbor back in Wales for over a year and a half. I had one neighbor. Now there's like a hundred people in my building. And then just all around me, there's like thousands of other buildings. It's really cool. It's a cool position to be in. I feel like I'm in, a, in the middle of an ant hill and I am a very useful ant. I'm contributing. We wanted to hike, but I'm trying to get this edible binge over with. So I've made some edibles, I've been doing them for like 10 days now and I need the binge to be over. Like I, I have to just go through it all. I have to burn through it and then just sober up. Like I can't, I've got an addictive personality. I'm struggling to take tolerance breaks basically and I'm just gonna burn through it and then I go hiking for a week to make up for the non-exercise non I've been getting. So I made two videos on the main channel last week. Got about 5,000 views. On TikTok, I posted two videos and got 2 million views. So now my focus is shifting to TikTok. I've got two TikToks that I'm posting today. I've got a bunch of viral ideas. We filmed one yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna go hard with TikTok. Let's see what we can get out of it. It seems like a pretty fun app. If you go to my TikTok today, you'll see the collab I just did with V1Pew, the guy that looks identical to me. Just go watch it. Go to my TikTok, you can watch the thing we did. Got loads of, our, loads of ideas to do with him. So I've been watching a lot of festival videos this past week. And I'm getting myself all hyped up because summer's coming. I realize that they're probably gonna cancel all the festivals again, probably. I mean, we didn't stand much of a chance last year. So I don't know what to do. I wanna go to a few festivals this year. I c festivals are where I get my yearly dose of human interaction. It's where I get to move my body about with strangers. If you fumble a conversation, you can just disappear into the crowd and find, find someone else to try again. It's great. Yeah, festivals are really magic. And because I didn't get them last year, that's the thing that's put me off the most. Like I feel so off after not getting that dose of like humans. It feels weird. This year I really, really hope that we do it. Like festivals are a rebellious act. Why are we conforming to all these rules as a festival? Why are we agreeing to not host the festival? Festivals are rebellious acts. They always have. Pretty much everyone that goes to a festival breaks the laws at some point at the festival. So why are we not rebelling and hosting these festivals anyway? Like I'd like to see them disperse a crowd of 100,000. Yeah, I just hope some festivals pop up. Festivals should be rebellious. We should be just hosting them anyway. I'm way too stoned to be like uh, energetic in this video. And it's really hot. It's literally 7, 69, 70 degrees today. Oh, so nice. Little update. This week's gone great. So very stressful. I missed a lot of packages. I've got to go pick them all up on what Monday, but it looks like it might be a bank holiday, so I've got to do it on Tuesday. My SIM card isn't working. I can't get into my PayPal. So much stuff I have to do today. <sighs> all I want to do is lay in the sun, bro. But yeah, the two videos I posted on my main channel this week. I think they're pretty great. Uh, the edible one was a failure. But the one after that, I think, is like one of my best videos. <laughs> I'm just having a conversation with myself in the mirror for science. That video, by the way, is, is monetized. So if you want to go watch it, please go watch it and share it with people. That video got monetized. That's huge. Uh, yeah, link is in the description. It's up there on the top. I'll put an annotation at the end. It's first line in the description. It's pinned comment. It's hearted comment. That's the video. Go watch that video. Send it to whoever you want. I think it's great. You get to know me pretty well. I moved my room around, I started buying tapestries last night, I was shopping and I bought eight. So I'm gonna fill every piece of my wall, I'm gonna buy a whiteboard today uh, to fill the rest of the wall, and yeah, there, my room is gonna be done. I wanna start working on the living room now, so the living room is gonna be a garden. There's gonna be some nice um, rugs in there, maybe some art, but a lot of plants. Like, I'm gonna jungleize the, the living room. Is jungleize a word? I ate an edible this morning, did some yoga, and then I was coming up during the yoga and it felt really good. I highly recommend, if, if you are in a legal state where you can, you can consume weed legally, I recommend an edible before yoga. It's really nice. Yeah, basically I've got a very busy day today. <laughs> but I also want to play video games with my friends. It's the weekend. I'm trying to chill. My mind has been so active at night time lately. I'm trying to, trying to get back into the morning routine. It's hard. This edible's got me messed up. <laughs> I might do like a week roundup of how I felt doing like a week, a week of edibles. <sighs> or two weeks of it. I don't even know. Time's like dissolving together. It's Saturday already. How are you guys? <laughs> how are you? How are you doing? 
you want me to daily vlog again, you gotta like this video. Get this video to a thousand likes, and I'll start daily vlogging again. Can we do that? And subscribe to this channel, more V3i. It's where it's at. This is where the best content is hidden.